fewer officers are working these cases than in decades past. The Birmingham Fraternal Order of Police telling us the department is short about 300 officers. ABC 3340's Olivia Goche is in Birmingham tonight. And Olivia, members of the FOP are holding Chief Scott Thurman responsible. Yeah, Muriel, there could be a potential vote of no confidence for the Birmingham Police Chief Scott Thurmond. Now, the Birmingham Fraternal Order of Police is citing low morale and lack of leadership. I spoke with the FOP Vice President Lawrence Billups about what this means and what this process might look like. Any member of the FOP is able to bring a proposal to the floor. Because the no confidence proposal of Chief Thurmond has been presented, it must now go before the full membership. Right now, uh, we have nothing. We're scrambling. We got people people dying every day. We got young men, a young man last night. We got people killing people in broad daylight. The Birmingham FOP has about 1,400 members. When we spoke with Billups in May, he again pointed to leadership for lack of officer recruitment, retention, and low morale. I asked Billups what it would take for the FOP to feel confident in their chief. We just want somebody to come in here and lead us. I mean, it, you, 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 it's, it's just coming, somebody coming in with enough confidence to, to come in and say, this is the direction we're going in. This is my plan for the Birmingham Police Department. Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin issued a statement saying he supports BPD leadership and he is in constant communication with FOP leadership. Additionally, Woodfin stated it's unfortunate that some members of FOP, those who speak for themselves and not FOP as a whole, are causing distractions and not constructive solutions. We hope they join our efforts in bringing new recruits to the force. As far as what Birmingham residents feel. I feel safe. I feel confident when I'm here and I enjoy the atmosphere, the people, and it's definitely the men and women of the Birmingham Police Department that makes that possible. I'm confident in them, but... Uh... As I was telling him, I just wonder if they really follow up on a criminal as much as they should be. I just don't know if they really do or not. The vote of no confidence will next be presented to all members of the FOP at their next meeting in July. Live in Birmingham, Olivia Goche, ABC 3340 News.